Okay, <clears throat> some notes about what paints to use and what not to use. If you guys remember when I was talking about color temperature, um, I mentioned some other things, like how this lemon yellow is, is greener and the deep yellow is more orange, if you remember what I said about that. Um, we're only using these seven tubes of paint. Only. No white, no black. You're going to notice that the different hues all have their own native value, their own native brightness, and I want you to leave that alone. We're getting pure hue. So I've got the two yellows, the lemon yellow and the deep yellow, the two blues, that's the ultramarine and the sky blue, the two reds, that's the crimson and the scarlet, or alizarin and scarlet, whichever you've got, um, and I've got that violet that I mentioned is the, the cheater tube because of the, the, the imperfections of color making a brownish mixture of violet. And here's the really important thing. You guys remember on the color swatches how I had you mix the two reds together, for example, to get at a sort of neutral temperature red. And that's what you're going to do here. So for red, you're going to mix together the two reds. For yellow, you'll mix together the two yellows. For blue, you're mixing together the two blues. Sorry, kids interrupting. So here's the crucial thing. I want you to put that deep yellow pointing towards orange. The scarlet pointing towards orange. The crimson pointing towards blue. The ultramarine deep pointing towards red. The sky blue pointing towards the lemon yellow the lemon yellow on the side of the sky blue. So what's happening here is that because that lemon yellow is already greenish, when we go to mix the green, we're only using the lemon yellow. We're not using the mixture of the two. We're only using lemon yellow. And we're only using that greener blue, which is the sky blue. So all of these colors in between them, in between yellow and blue, we're only using those two, the sky blue and the lemon yellow. Similar thing happening with the other colors. So everything going between yellow, orange, and red, you're only using the deep yellow and the scarlet. Same thing over here. When we're going towards the violets, you're only using ultramarine and crimson together. So that's how we're separating out the reds and we're moving everything in the right direction. If you have questions about that, ask me in the discussion area on Canvas for this assignment. This is assignment three. So the one cheater thing, again, is up here with ultramarine going towards violet. And so what you're going to do for violet is you're going to use this violet and you're going to mix in a tiny amount of the ultramarine and a tiny amount of the crimson just to keep everything tied together. But predominantly it's this violet for the violet. For the blue violet, then you're just using violet and ultramarine for the Red violet, you're only using violet and the crimson. For orange, you're only using the scarlet and the deep yellow. Again, for green, you're only using the lemon yellow and the sky blue. And here's how I would do things, sort of similar to the way we calibrated the grayscale. Do all the primaries first. So do your red, your yellow, and your blue first. Then do secondaries. So you have primaries, tertiaries, and secondaries. Primaries are your red, your yellow, and your blue. 
Secondaries are mixtures of those. So there's three primaries, there's three secondaries. So that's green, violet, and orange. And then you have tertiaries. These are those colors like red orange, or yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, red violet. There's six of those. I lost my train of thought. Primaries first, secondaries second. So I'll do, I'll do the yellow mixed with the two tubes of yellow, and then I'll do the blue mixed with the two tubes of blue, and then just lemon yellow and just sky blue to make my green. And because I'll have my green mixed, and because I'll have my blue mixed, there I can calibrate what blue-green should look like. So let me show you the example again. And let's look at red and orange. So here's red, here's orange, and then the crimson goes this way. So the scarlet goes this way, and the orange that has just deep yellow mixed in. So deep yellow and scarlet to make red orange. So we've got primaries, secondaries, and tertiaries. And I'll, I'll post pictures of these examples online again. I mean, if you really want to go nuts, you can go for this one. And so you'd have primaries, tertiaries, or primaries, secondaries, tertiaries, and quaternaries. Again, ask any questions in the discussion area. Don't forget, you are leaving this tape around the circumference till the very end, and it'll be the last thing you peel off. You can only do one of these at a time because this tape is blocking off all these other areas, and you need at least two layers. Don't forget, no black and no white mixed into any of these colors.